eight categories of contaminants are flowing through your tap right now. Not trace amounts, measurable levels that accumulate in your body every single day. What I'm about to show you will change how you look at that glass of water forever. The good news? There's one whole house system that removes all eight categories I'm about to reveal, protecting every faucet in your home for up to 10 years without maintenance. I'll show you exactly how it works. But first, you need to understand what you're up against. The Environmental Protection Agency regulates 90 contaminants in drinking water, 90, each with documented health effects at levels they call acceptable. But here's what acceptable means. Your water can legally contain arsenic, lead, uranium, and cyanide as long as they stay below certain thresholds. Independent testing by the Environmental Working Group found 278 contaminants in American tap water. Most aren't even regulated. Today, we're covering the eight categories you need to know about, starting with the most disturbing discovery. Pharmaceuticals. U.S. geological survey studies have detected pharmaceutical drugs in water sources and finished drinking water across the nation. Birth control hormones, antidepressants, antibiotics, blood pressure medications, all found in tap water samples. Most water treatment plants weren't designed to remove pharmaceutical compounds. They use conventional treatment methods, coagulation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection that don't effectively eliminate these complex molecules. While present at parts per billion or trillion, the long-term effects of constant low-dose exposure are still being studied. Children are especially vulnerable during critical development years when even tiny amounts can impact growth and hormones. Recent studies found an average of 10 plastic particles per liter in bottled water and similar amounts in tap water. These microscopic fragments pass through standard filtration. Each particle carries chemical additives, phthalates, BPA, flame retardants. They accumulate in your organs, cross the blood-brain barrier, and integrate into your tissues. By age 10, children have consumed over 70,000 plastic particles from tap water alone. PFAS, forever chemicals, contaminate the blood of 99% of Americans. These substances never break down, not in the environment, not in your body. They accumulate forever, hence the name. Manufacturers knew PFAS caused cancer, liver damage, and decreased fertility for decades. Yet they're in your water supply, concentrating in your body with every sip. Even low doses alter hormone function and immune response. Lead contamination affects millions of Americans through aging infrastructure. The CDC states there's no safe level of lead exposure for children, yet it can leach from old pipes and fixtures into homes nationwide. Children absorb five times more lead than adults. The damage is irreversible, and it's completely preventable. Disinfection byproducts form when chlorine or chloramine reacts with organic matter in water. These compounds, trihalomethanes and haloacetic acids, are linked to bladder cancer, reproductive problems, and liver damage. Studies have shown increased chloroform inhalation during hot showers. The heat vaporizes these chemicals, creating exposure through both skin absorption and inhalation. Agricultural runoff delivers pesticides, herbicides, and nitrates directly to municipal water supplies. Atrazine, the second most used herbicide, disrupts hormones at three parts per billion. The EPA allows three parts per billion. These chemicals have been shown to affect amphibian development at low concentrations and are being studied for potential human health impacts. They're detected in water supplies across agricultural regions. Multiple international studies have raised questions about optimal fluoride levels, leading several countries to reconsider their policies. The debate continues among scientists, with some research suggesting careful evaluation of risk versus benefit is needed. What's clear is that fluoride is one of the hardest contaminants to remove. Standard filters don't touch it. Reverse osmosis wastes massive amounts of water. But remember that whole house solution I mentioned? It's one of the few systems that actually removes fluoride completely. Standard carbon filters primarily improve taste and odor by removing some chlorine. They don't effectively remove pharmaceuticals, fluoride, PFAS, or chloramines. Even expensive pitcher filters have significant limitations. Under sink filters miss your shower, washing machine, and dishwasher. You're still showering in chlorine, washing clothes in pharmaceuticals, and cleaning dishes in microplastics. Plus, you're changing expensive filters constantly. The solution requires whole house protection that removes all eight contaminant categories. The SoftPro system uses catalytic carbon combined with bone char technology. The only combination that eliminates fluoride, chloramines, pharmaceuticals, PFAS, and everything else we've discussed. 600,000 to 1 million gallons filtered over five to 10 years. No electricity, no water waste, no maintenance. Your shower, drinking water, cooking, even your ice maker, all protected. Compare that to buying bottled water or constantly replacing pitcher filters. Every faucet in your home delivering pure water. 
check the description for the system that removes all eight categories of contaminants. Because knowing what's in your water is pointless unless you can do something about it.